If nothing else, mixing is a process of organizing all the tracks in a recording. And how you route your audio is fundamental to controlling your mix on the whole. The goal of mixing is to balance everything so the feature elements of a song, as well as the style and aesthetic of the production, are all presented with maximum impact and efficiency. Routing is the foundation for managing these factors at every step. It's a repeatable, almost ritual process that gets you in the right mindset every time you start to mix. This exercise is a great starting point for developing your own routing scheme. And the best part is, much of the work that you do now can be saved as a template and imported into your mixes in the future to save time. Here's a simple overview of how we go about basic mix routing in the box. To demonstrate this process, we're using tracks from the song New Skin by the Brooklyn band Torres. It was recorded as part of our documentary series, Shaking Through. If you're a member of Weathervane Music, you can download and use these tracks for this exercise. You can support Weathervane and learn how we mix songs for Shaking Through by purchasing the Mix Roadmap. It's a companion piece for this video series that will help you improve your skills and better understand how we record music. Before we get started, we're using a special I.O. custom designed for these lessons that Weathervane members can download directly from our site. To start, create four mono and four stereo aux tracks to the right of all the tracks in your mix. These will be your group mix buses. We like to color code these bright pink. Assign the bus inputs to their corresponding bus paths. For the kick track, we use a mono bus called K-Mix. For the snare track, a mono bus called S-Mix. The bass, a mono track called B-Mix. And for the lead vocal, a mono bus called V-Mix. Now the stereo group mix buses. For the remaining drums and percussion, we use DR-Mix. For the guitars, GTR-Mix. For the back vocals and effects tracks, we use VST mix, that stands for vocal stereo mix. And then for everything else, we have a group called etc. mix, ETC mix. Now assign the bus outputs to two bus. Now we want to label the group mix buses according to the bus input name. Next, we're going to create one stereo aux to the right of the buses called two bus. We're going to assign the input of the two bus to two bus and the output to the final mix bus. Next let's label the two bus, two bus. Now we're going to create a stereo audio track for our final mix. This is the final destination of all audio in the mix. We like to color code these tracks turquoise. Assign the input to the final mix bus and the output to your monitors. We're gonna name the final mix track exactly the same name as the session. So right now, this final mix track is named Torres Routing ITB. If we save multiple versions of this mix as we go along, say for instance, Torres Routing ITB 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, etc., we'll wanna update the name of this final track. This is a very important protocol for keeping final mixes and the sessions they come from really well organized. Next. We assign every audio track in the mix or group of tracks that are combined into aux tracks to their appropriate group mix buses. Again, all kick tracks go to the K mix, all snare tracks to the S mix, and so on. Now we're gonna solo save all group mix buses, the two bus and the final mix. So we can solo in here individual tracks as we're mixing. I do this by holding command and clicking on the solo button. The last part of this process involves creating specific filters for each of the group mix buses. These EQs are there to set high and low pass limits for each of the groups. This has been one of our most effective steps for creating space and shaping the major elements of the mix. When we discovered this, our mixes took a huge leap forward. We're going to start by inserting an EQ plugin on each of the group mix buses. Now we want to set high and low pass limits for each according to the general frequency range that the group covers in the mix. For the rest, we have our own saved settings which we share in the Weathervane mix roadmap. Once you have all your group mix bus filters in place and the starting settings established for each of them, you're ready to go. 
The last step, set the final mix track to record. Hit play, and now you should be able to hear all the audio tracks in your final mix. In Kansas City, I was there you go. That's it. Now all the tracks in your mix are routed to one of the group mix buses, which all combine to the two bus, which prints to the final mix track. You can save those tracks to a template and draw from them when starting other mixes in the future. Thanks for watching. If you have thoughts or questions, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or become a member of Weathervane Music, where you will learn a lot about the processes we use when we record in the studio. Weathervane Music is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to advance independent music and the community that surrounds it. Your support creates great new music and learning opportunities for people all around the world. Whether you make or record music, our programs help you to nurture and develop your craft. Explore what else we have to offer. <laughs>